ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to two of mankind's finest achievements, drinking and gaming. Today we look at Cerveza Bohemia, which comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, and Xeno Raptors, which is a arcade twin stick shooter that just came out on Early Access, where you play a dragon fighting space chainsaws. I wish I had a crazier beer uh, to present with this game, uh, alas. So we're going to get our pour on. And it looks like a pretty standard, like, Pilsner, which is what I'm guessing it is. This is made by the Dos, the same people who make those Eques. This is one of their specialty beers uh, imported from Mexico. So uh, I think this is our first Mexican beer on the show. Um, we'll be doing Negro Modelo at uh, some point as well. But uh, we'll get to the game here in just a minute after we get our flavor notes, of course. Yeah, it smells like beer. <laughs> Nothing, nothing special going on here. If you smelled just a, a, it smells quality, but uh, if you've if you smelled a pilsner or a, another pale beer, this is that. So we'll be right back. All right, so we are here with Xeno Raptors. So off the bat, and I don't want to talk over the music too much, but you know I'm a big stickler for music. If you've watched Indie Brew before. And I really like the music for Xeno Raptors. It's, you know, definitely got that 90s, 80s kind of upbeat tempo with a little bit of chip tune in there. Um, big, big fan. Um, like I said before, this is early access, so I'm sure there are plans and things coming that I don't know about. Um, we're just going to look at it now. We can customize our ships. Uh, we can actually, you know, change color, which is definitely a nice touch. Um, so we'll just uh, give us the 830 to awesome colors here. And uh, we will uh, go from there, and we can save into our empty slot. We'll just call this Indie Brew, and um, yeah, there we go. Okay, enter, and we will exit out, and we'll give a campaign. So this is a twin stick shooter. Um, obviously, there is you know up to I think ten rage quit is I think the last one, and of course boss rush, which is always good for twin stick shooters. Um, I've played a lot over the years, and we'll just get into this and we'll start talking about this. Um, I've played a lot over the years, uh, Twin Stick Shooters, you know, I'm, I'm from an older gaming generation. I played, you know, games in game arcades when those were still big. And I wasn't kidding about flying space chainsaws, uh, as you can see. Um, so, most games have to kind of, I don't know, most, most new Twin Stick Shooters have to be, you know, a little bit innovative or a little bit, um clever in their presentation um or at least just mindless stupid fun and i i think uh, from what i've played and i've, I've logged about an hour into xeno raptors i think it definitely falls into the mindless stupid um fun category um and I, I like my time with it so far um so we have our main weapon here which you can see and it actually has a cooldown feature which i like um i think that's a pretty interesting and i'm sure there are other uh, twin six shooters that have it. Um, and I like the little beams so we know where our bullets are going. I think that's really cool. Um, I like the mini-map. I think, I think the UI actually really meshes well with the design of the game. And it definitely makes it so that we know what's coming at us and we can judge accordingly. It also shows all of our um, drops and all the things like that. So it, it's, it's very intuitive, the controls. Um, the green is our, our uh, health bar, of course, and then we have this dash thing, which I think is really neat. Um, and, you know, running into enemies, always a viable tactic. We also have a secondary weapon, which is, from what I can tell from the opening, is just kind of like a, a rail gun. Um, or at the, least, just, at the very least, just a really big explosion. Um, and I, I like that. I always, I like twin stick shooters that give you, you know, multiple options to deal with things. And, of course, we have missiles, which, you know will eventually refill to a certain point. I, I think they refill to a certain point and then you have to find more on the map. Um, so, I think that's really cool. Um, and I think there are, and over you can see in the corner our, our uh, combo meter. I'm not a, I mean, a big fan of combos. I think there might be some score attackiness to this, which, you know, isn't necessarily a problem. It's just, it's not something that I'm necessarily into as a, as a gamer. Um, but if you're into score attacking, I'm, I'm sure this game will, will give you a lot of fun. Um, 
And I, I do like how the enemies kind of show you where they're going to shoot. Um, it's it's hectic, and that's one thing I, I like from twin stick shooters. Um, I, I think if you're going to have a twin stick shooter that's slow, I don't necessarily see the point. So I, I like that it, it does kind of jive more with my play style of twin stick shooters. I would like to see, and I, there may be an item for this that you can attach, um, but a little bit of early um, magnetism for your items, because I do think, uh, just despite how everything kind of plays out, I think the controls are a little slippery. Um, I don't necessarily feel like I'm in 100% control, um, which is, is, is completely fine, and that may just be a perception thing. Um, we do have our boss, which will probably smoke the crap out of me. Um, it did in my uh, off-camera uh, play. We will, of course, um, use our missiles, hopefully, to good effect here, because I- Ah, oh, we died. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, some score name, sort of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give it another shot. Um, it's definitely hard, which, again, it, it's it's nice to see from a twin-stick shooter. I'm definitely sure with, with practice that you can get really good with this game. Um, and I, I actually look forward to seeing what uh, comes out of this in, in the future. Um, I will definitely be giving this a closer look. Next death, we will we'll try our beer here. Um, it's probably best that we drink this one cold, I imagine. I, I actually like beers room temperature, um, which no one's actually commented on in other videos, but um, perhaps you just don't realize that I'm drinking, you know, slightly less than room temperature beer, because that's, you know, what a warm beer is, quote-unquote. But yeah, you know, I one of the problems that I have with most Twin Six Shooters is... is there's, there's a point, and I, I actually have this problem with a lot of games, um, sometimes sp speed is not necessarily something that you want, a, you know, unlimited of. There's a, a, a bit of speed that you, there's a, a level of speed that you want, and then you hit a point where too much is too much. Um, and I, I think this game starts out really fast, like I said, it's definitely got the head to gameplay, and I really like that. Um, so a speed upgrade, I would... I don't know if it's permanent. It doesn't seem to necessarily be permanent. It seems like we slowed down a little bit, but that might just be me getting used to it. Um, and again, magnetism I think would would go a long way to um, helping uh, get pickups. Um, and again, there may be an item for that or a planned item for that, and I just haven't played enough to see that. Um, I freely admit that that's possible. Um, but every all the graphics look really good. I I kind of like the 3D style on this flat surface. Um, I think that's really neat. I think it's well done. Um, I like the, the enemies. The, the game is absurd in, in the right ways. And I don't, I don't mean absurd to be insulting. You know, you're, you're playing a gigantic fire, or, you know, energy-breathing dragon in space fighting, uh, gigantic, you know, circular chainsaws. Um, if, if the concept isn't abs a little absurd to you, uh, then, um, you're a, a strange man. Um, I should probably use the dash a little bit more. I really like the dash. I really like how that feels. Um, it, it, it drives really well. The animation is really cool. Um, and it makes me feel like, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually, you know, dodging things, which is important. Um, it actually feels viable and useful. Um, so, I, I like that aspect. Um, and I, I think the, the difficulty starts off really well. I, I like that. Um, so, I, I, I overall my impressions of this game are it, it's a twin stick shooter. If you're not a big fan of twin stick shooters, you're not gonna like this game. Um, I, I happen to like the more old school twin stick shooters, so I I have a soft spot for these kind of games because these are the kind of games that I actually did play growing up. Um, you know, like I said, in, in the actual arcades. Um, so I, I suppose I I'm a little biased, um, and I, I think this is a good one. You know, there's there's a lot of uh, twin stick shooters that you could get out there, arcadey twin stick shooters you can get out there, um, and I, I think Xenoraptor is def it's definitely one of them, but I think it's a good one. I've played some really bad ones, um, and I think we should be fighting our boss here with no health to speak of. If I actually just avoided his attack, there it is. Now, like I said, you can actually see where he's shooting, um, and I, I like that. It doesn't feel necessarily like, um, he's... Um, you know, just coming out of nowhere and, and blasting me, and it's it's not bullet heli or Don Makui, however you want to call it. Um, and I actually find that the, the special attack here is actually uh, worth using, um, but I generally don't find it worth, this one at least, worth using on the smaller enemies because it's hard. I actually killed it. 
we got we killed the mega tank, and we got a flamethrower weapon, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> always, always fun. I like, like I said, I like the overheating. Um, I, I suppose it it makes this game a little bit more tactical. And like I said, I, I am sure there are other twin stick shooters that have a uh, an overheat mechanic. Um, I like the the, the pickups. Um, but I, I think, oh, hello, okay, uh, big scary ones. Very cool to see uh, different enemy types. Um, I, I will say that I think a lot of the enemy types kind of look samey. Um, and again, that's just initial impressions. I, I haven't played too deep. I'm sure there are a ton of variations. Um, so, I, I like it. I feel feel good playing it. Um, I don't know what the ammo pickup's for. Um, it looks like we have like a, a supercharged health bar as well. Um, so, that's pretty neat. Um, I really like the sound effects. I don't think I talked about that yet. Um, I like the, the buzzsaw, for sure. It, it sounds like, it, it's visceral, you know, it actually sounds like, oh my god, there's a chainsaw right next to me. Um, so I, I think the sound work is, is, is pretty good. Um, and we look like we have some kamikaze-type enemies coming at us, um, that we should probably avoid running into. I, I would like to see the variation that they've got going on weapons. Um, I, I think that will be a, a big make or break for a lot of people. Um, and I would I would like to know how many waves we are in and how many we have left. We can see how many waves we've got, we are, what wave we're on right now, but I'd like to know how many more waves I have because I think kind of knowing when this is going to end um, and, you know, how, how long do we have to survive? Because I think, at, at least for me, an element of... Um, twin stick shooters is, you know, not necessarily just get, you know, getting to the boss and beating the boss, but there's also an element of, okay, I'm, I've made it this far and I feel good. You know, there's a, there's a bit of gratification in, in knowing that you've made it to a certain point. Um, I, I, I do think that, um, Xeno Raptors doesn't necessarily fall on that line. Um, I'm on, I'm on wave 10. Well, what what is what does wave 10 mean? Uh, we definitely need some health. You know, what what does wave 10 mean? Does it does it mean we're we're 10 and we're just gonna go until we die? Because I haven't seen another boss, but you know maybe the, there's a boss every five. Um, it, you know it, it it doesn't. I don't feel it does a good good job displaying. And then, then again, for now, I don't feel like it does a good job displaying just what kind of um, what area. Okay. Um, and we have another boss. Oh, hello. That's definitely a boss. Um, I, I do like the warning. It def that's... Oh, sorry. Um, click the screens. Um, didn't mean to do that. You probably heard the thing. Um, and this one's... Oh, I like that. I like the bigger enemies because we can see more detail. Um, and I'd like to see more... Of course, more big enemies. And I'm sure that's not necessarily just reserved for the bosses. Um... Oh, we actually we did. Okay. See, yeah, I, I had no idea that the end was coming, so we're going to try our beer here. It's pretty standard. It's definitely a Pilsner of some kind. Um, it's not very bubbly. Almost tastes a little flat. But it's got that hoppiness to it. Um, it's almost like an IPA, but not quite as bitter. But it is very hoppy, and there's a weird, um, weird bitter aftertaste there at the end that um, almost makes me think that they put corn in this as well. It's not bad. I wouldn't buy it every single day. It's not my style. Um, but if you like light beer, it's a good one. It's got a, a sweetness to it now that it's sitting on my tongue. That's pretty cool. So we're, we're going to try to um, equip some stuff. Um, so we have our missiles. That's our specials. Sensors. Tactical sensors is all we've got. Hull. Reinforced hull. Engine. Plasma thrusters. Paint. Um, weapon 1. Um, we do have the railgun. I was correct in assuming it was a railgun. Um, I'm going to go... We can't do... We only have standard. We can't actually see the other ones. Ooh. Incendiary grenades. I like the idea of that. Um, so let's do weapon type and let's see the flamethrower. 
Yeah, we're gonna go with the flamethrower. I, I like being able to customize my ship. Uh, a lot of other twin stick shooters, you know, you pick up different weapons and you go from there. Um, and fuel. Alright, um, we will save this under the Indie Brew. And, uh, we will go back and we'll do the next level. Mars! I really like flamethrowers. We do seem a little slower with it, but maybe it's just because we're not seeing... I, I like the flame effect. Um, and it seems... Oh! Of course we'd overheat, uh, quickly. Um, that makes sense. So coolant is, is vitally important when you're using a flamethrower in space. Who would have thought it? So it's more of a concentrated burst, although it does seem to do a lot of damage. And I, I, I like the customization. Um, it gives it a bit more of an RPG element. Not necessarily an RPG element in full, um, but I, I do like it. Um, I'll probably move back to the... Um, the bullets here if we die, and it seems likely. Um, but I, I, I like this. It, it changes the way the game is played, so, you're, so you know, it doesn't feel samey, and that, I think, is, is definitely a, a major point that a lot of... Um, I'm just stacking up ammo... that a lot of twin-stick shooters can have. Um, you know, every class plays... Every, every ship plays the same. Maybe there's a little bit of better handling or different handling. Um, but, oh, you know, overall, it all seems that, you know, playing one ship from the next doesn't necessarily impact your, your gameplay unless you want, you know, a little bit of faster ship. You know, because the weapon pickups will be on the, the, the thing no matter what. Maybe you do a little bit less or a little bit more damage, but for the most part. So I do like seeing um, that. I like the... Oops, we are moving pretty quick. I do like the meteors. I would like to maybe see some satellites in Earth, but maybe they got taken out by these gigantic killer buzz buzzsaws. You'd imagine that um, that kind of debris in uh, the atmosphere would, would be the first to go um, in a massive space chainsaw attack. And I, like I said, I really like the concept, um, which is why which is why I contacted these guys. Um, I, I think it's novel. I think it's funny. I, like I said, I think it's absurd, but it, absurd in, in a good way. Um, like a Dr. McNinja, almost, is what this makes me think of, if you're familiar with that, that, uh, comic. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, um, there, there's a word for that. And I, I, it, I'm blanking on it, unfortunately. But it, it, it's absurd in, in an amusing way, and it, it's, it's, it, the game doesn't take itself seriously, and I, I prefer games that have a little bit of self-awareness to it. Um, so we are probably going to die here. Um, so I'm gonna finish the beer... We're going to make it as far as we can. Um, unfortunately, um, drinking and playing a twin-stick shooter isn't necessarily um, something that you can do since, you know, twin-stick implies two hands. <laughs> um, but if there was ever a game that I'd want to just sit down and uh, play and, and drink, this is definitely one of them. And I, I mean that in the most fond way. Um, I, I like playing games with a little bit of booze interjected. Obviously, I wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have made the show otherwise. Um, and this, like I said, this this game is, is fun, um, and it, it's it's fun in a in and I, I said stupid fun, and again I don't mean that as, as any kind of disrespect. I mean that in in the, in the most sincere form of flattery way possible. I, I like it, you know. It's twin six shooters are always fun because you just get in and you just blow things up, and that's what I mean by stupid fun. There's no there's no trick. There's no thinking about it. It's not like. XCOM or anything like that. You're not writing war, or pe war and peace or anything like that. You're just going and blowing up chains, chainsaws in space. What, you know, what, what, what complication do you need to add on top of that? You don't need any complication on top of that. So we'll fight this boss. Oh, hello. I really like the big enemies. Um, I think they look really good. Um, I'd really like to be able to make a, a bigger spaceship. Maybe have more health. Um, maybe have two smaller dragons running around. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, there's, there's a lot of things you can do with this, I feel, uh, with this game. Because I, I think being able to customize yourself is really cool and really important. I would also like to be able to destroy these, um, these asteroids. Um, ah, we are almost dead and we don't have the ability to use our weapons, so that's a little scary. I do like the flamethrower, though. Um, how about how fireworks in space? I don't know. Um, we actually won. Um, and we got the weapon. Uh, weapon heavy. Very cool. I like to. See, I will uh, probably do heavy bullets after this. Not the game um, of the same name, um, but 
um, see the style of Heavy and see how that impacts the game. But I, like I said, I, I enjoy my time, I'm smiling, I'm having fun. I, I really, you know, like I said, I really like this, ooh, yep, we are gone. Um, so I will... There's a weird sourness to it, as it gets a little warmer. Like I said, uh, light beers are usually enjoyed cold, are better enjoyed cold. Um, and this one's no exception to that, I find. And I like, yeah, like I said, there's definitely a score uh, attack aspect to this that I'm not necessarily fond of in games. Um, but I understand where the concept of score attacking is. It's definitely an arcadey thing. Um, so if you are into arcadey kind of games, then I, I would definitely suggest picking this up. There's also multiplayer. I didn't talk about that. Um, I don't know if there is anyone playing right now because the game just came out on early access. Um, but you can play it with seven players. I think this would be a fun game to play with, with, with friends. Um, if you're kind of into the, the co op -y kind of thing, I would definitely say give this a shot. Um, so we are going to do our weapons. We are going to do heavy. Um, it doesn't necessarily seem... Uh, so bullets, incendiary, let's do armor piercing, and heavy. The, the sound definitely went up uh, and d better. And we're just, um, we are going to give that a shot. And um, we'll do Earth again. We actually can go to Phoebos. It actually moves us. That's pretty neat. Um, I'm surprised that... Um, and it does seem to be doing a little bit of damage. Um, I don't notice... Too one, one other thing I would like, I, I suppose, now that I, I think about it, would be um, health bars for enemies. I don't know how much more difficult that would be to add, or how easy they would be necessarily to see, um, but especially, at least on the bigger enemies, I would like to see some health bars so that I can have a, um, a basing off point on um, just how much more damage they can take. Um, and that goes back to, you know, let me know how many waves I have left to go. I like knowing my progress in these sorts of games. Um, and, and while not knowing the progress doesn't really impact the fun I'm having with the game, I, I would enjoy the game more if I knew, hey, you know, you're almost to the end, you know, you've survived this long, good for you. Um, and you know, that means something to me in a game like this, um, because Twin Six Shooters are not necessarily just about being good at the game, but also about endurance. Um, because no matter how good you are at the game, you know, uh, the, the idea is to swarm you, um, and that's good, I like that, um, but, you know, I also play it because, especially, uh, and this is, one's not quite bullet heli because most enemies try to run into you and, and chainsaw you down, um, uh, which I like, um, but, you know, I, I like to say, ah, I made it, you know, 35 waves, blah blah blah, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit of bragging rights. And it's weird that I, I, I like the bragging rights, but I'm not a big fan of the score attack, I, I suppose... I just don't jive with, hey, this is the number that I did, just, you know, I, I, which, you know, perhaps invalidates everything I just said, but, um, hopefully it doesn't, because you're here for the review, obviously. Um, yeah, my, 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 my impressions on this game are, it, it's fun, um, early access, so, you know, I, I would suggest, and this doesn't necessarily go just for e Xenoraptor, but it goes, goes for all early access games, you know. Research what you're doing, and hopefully you're watching my, my video for some research, and I've, I've helped. Um, but you know, buy you know, buy buy it, buy it if you think it's good, and, and if not, wait and and see. Um, you know, so I I would say that I think this game is fun enough as is in its current form that buying it it wouldn't be a risk if you like twin stick shooters. I I think it's well designed, and I think there's enough here, and it's it's early access form for any and all uh, gamers who like this style of gameplay to enjoy. Like I said, it, it's simple fun. Um, I don't think it reinvents the wheel. I, I don't. Um, it, it's, a, it's a twin stick shooter. It does what twin stick shooters do. Um, but I think it does it in a classy way. And this will be my, my final thoughts. Um, this will probably end here after we kill the, the mega tank. Um, but yeah, I, I think it does it. Oh, there's a weird bitterness to that. Definitely enjoy this drink. Um, oh, I got a flat cannon. Very cool.
Um, yeah, definitely enjoy this this beer cold um, because now that it's had time to kind of stew in its own in itself, it's got an extra bitterness to it that I, I personally don't enjoy. And, and one of the reasons I, I enjoy warm, quote unquote, beer. And I know we're still playing because I'm still talking about the beer. Um, one of the things I enjoy about warm beer is you get more flavors of the beer itself. Because, you know, the cold kind of numbs your tongue a little bit and you, you can't get a full appreciation of the flavor profile. Um, oops, sorry. Um, whoop, uh, the window is not border borderless. I apologize for moving things around there. Um, I was trying to avoid the top. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, hopefully that didn't... wasn't for too long. Move, I, I moved the, the, the window and then I promptly... Um, minimized the window for a second, um, highlighting the recording process, apologies. Um, but yeah, definitely enjoy this beer cold, um, and enjoy it fast, because that is kind of the kind of beer that it is. It's definitely a little bit more high quality than, you know, your, your typical, you know, Sunday night frat beer, but, um, I don't know how much more quality it is, how high of a quality it is. Um, and I, I don't mean to say this about all Mexican imports, because I, I actually quite, I'm quite fond of Mexican beer, um, but uh, I, I find most of their light beers are in the same quality, which is why I'm probably not going to, you know, touch on Dos Equis or any of those kind of beers on the show. Um, so yeah, this has been Ego Raptor, guys. Um, I believe there is one more boss coming, so we'll, we'll go to that. Um, but my, my thoughts, like I said, are if, if you like Twin Stick Shooters, this is the game that you should get. Um, I, I think it's good. I think it's actually one of the best Twin Stick Shooters right now out on, on Steam. And there are, there are plenty. Um, but... I don't. I don't think it does anything unique. Um, I. I it, it doesn't reinvent the wheel, and it, it might not be trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, the concept carries it to a point where it's you know a fun game, and then the gameplay carries it the rest of the way to a point where I actually think this is a pretty solid game. I. I, I enjoy the the humor that they seem to have. Um, like I said, a game that doesn't take itself serious is a game that I enjoy. And from all appearances, it doesn't necessarily look like it's a game that takes itself seriously um, in the enemy design and just the concept. Um, but it, it is a game that is, is quite serious, and the art style is really good. The gameplay is pretty is, is pretty solid. Um, like I said, I, I would like a, a few few things added, perhaps. Um, that's personal preference, but, um, you know, other than that... I, I, I'm not saying that I hate the game or that it plays badly, so I, I suppose that is a ringing endorsement. But, you know, early access, so uh, buy at your your risk. Is it, you know, who knows how it will change um, down the line. And I should probably use more of my, my missiles here um, so that we don't necessarily die. We already took out one of the things. I really like these weird skull chainsaw things. I think they're really cool. Like I said, I- oh, we died. Well, guys, as we, uh, conclude with the rest of our beer here. That's been Xenoraptors. As always, thanks for watching.